Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Louis Girardin from High Vision, uh, based in Ottawa, Montreal. I'm the product line manager for Viper, our appliances that, that deals with uh, recording, streaming, and view the video on demand server all in one device. Uh, here on our, our right side, we have the mobile unit, which allows us to have security access to the machine. Provides us the rights to either stream, record, or being an administrator. First and, first and foremost, I choose my streaming uh, video inputs and audio inputs. I get granted with a screen which has a component input right now, which is fed by an iPad 2 source. I have a camera too, which is a 19, 20, 10, 80, uh, 60 frames per second camera input as well, being fed live. Once my, cho once my choices are made, I go now to my audio selections. I have access to three types of audio, phono, RCA, or XLR. I select XLR. Metadata wise, I can decide to put a title if I want to, title, description, duration. I can put a one minute duration field. A little title, ISC. Apply that. Once I'm set and done, video audio is set and, and metadata is selected. Then I'm granted with a, stream, uh, a screen which is all about streaming and recording. If I want to monitor the quality of the images, I can go in a pick and pick mode, look at what the content is all about. I can browse my content here if I want to. So I have live access to my content there. Bring back to my, my screen. Now I'm going to start my stream. In order to monitor the streaming of it, I will launch right here on my computer what, what's called InStream Player. It's a software player which recognizes the type of, of uh, operating system that your computer is, rolling, is uh, running on. I'm going to go to my guide. On the guide, I'm going to be provided with a channel, a Viper channel, which has two sources inside of it. I'm going to hit the watch button. It's going to tell me that there's nobody, there's no broadcasting available, which is where I'm going to start now on my touchscreen panel. At the touchscreen, I'm going to launch the in-stream. Now my stream is actually active. So if we go back to the software player, now the software player is showing me that there's a live source input. So my camera, I got my tablet here, which is filling up all the content. I can be full frame if I want to. Oops. Can go down frame. Can switch back and forth. My content there. I can decide I'm going to record it, so if I go back to my screen, I have the ability to record the content. It's going to start recording it. If I wish that during my recording I want to stop my streaming, I can just simply stop it. So the record is independent from the streaming, so it's really important for privacy sakes, for example. I can decide that I'm going to stream again, do my pro do my stop my recording, I can publish it directly and from the server built inside of it. It's going to do it, go into a publishing sequence takes a few seconds, now it's said and done. Before I had access to my in-stream player directly, now if I go back into my portal page, I'm gonna have a ISC, there you go, there's my ISC that I just created 31st if I launch it. It's gonna bring up again the player. And that player, by the way, is uh, secured only to me, so if I don't, I'm not given access to the player, I don't have access to it. That's it. That's all. It's going to launch it out. Take a few seconds, and this is what we just recorded. And you can stream that and use that and make sure that everything is secured for you. So, highvision.com, www.highvision.com for more information.